Chapter 12, Harmonic Convergence. Healing water bath. I have total faith in Jinora's ability to pull through. He can play an instrument? That adds like a weird thing to his character. That's nice. Have you told Cora yet about how you guys broke up and then you kind of started dating Asami while she was off getting attacked by dark spirits? Do you want to keep it down? I'm waiting for the right moment. That moment has passed. You know, a wise man once told me that delivering bad news to a girlfriend was like ripping off a blood-sucking leech. You just have to do it fast and get it over with. Rip it off. Rip off the leech. Did you want something? Uh, no, no. He tugged at it over and over, and it just wouldn't come off. <laughs> Since when does my little brother want to crash or blast through anything? Since they took I'll his do daughter. I'll whatever it takes to save my daughter. I remember when I was surrounded by pirates in the Hurricane Straits. We managed to capture them all with just a feather, two eggs, and a barrel of molasses. I don't want to hear any of your crazy stories now. This is serious. Why do I have a feeling this is going to end with two eggs, a feather, and some molasses? There's a problem. Yeah, her father. Unalak wiped out the entire Southern Resistance and captured your father. Where is my mother? You're the only one who can help her now, Mom. How much longer can she survive like this? I don't know. But she's very strong to have lasted this long. Mm-hmm. She is. Harmonic Convergence is only a few hours away. Then we have to break through the enemy lines ourselves and get to the portal now. You guys can do this. It's like the best squad. Yeah. They have a pretty stacked roster. And also Boomy. You know, I was in a similar situation once. <laughs> My platoon had crawled through the desert with no water for a week. But when we finally located the only oasis for a hundred miles, it was surrounded by angry sandbenders. I realized our only chance to get to the water was to drop in from above. Enough of your ridiculous lies. I'm going to eat my words and so is Tenzin. Boomy is going to be the one to save the day, I'm guessing. Can't you see that the fate of the world and Jinora's life depends on what we do here today? You should listen to Boomy, but you should also encourage him to just talk a little faster. <laughs> but as someone who's super long-winded, I can, I can relate. Maybe we can attack from above. Let's get moving. Bye, Naga. Aw, so sad. Never would have guessed these two would be so incredibly powerful and sinister. Here, Father? What else is there? The Water Tribe is united. Yeah, what do you want? After today, there will be no more Water Tribe. No more nations of any kind. The world is about to be transformed into something magnificent. And I will lead this glorious revolution. Is this one of those plans that involves, like, freeing a god and then hoping that somehow you end up with the powers of the god? Because... I've seen a lot of anime and that doesn't work out, typically. Either that or it accidentally goes to your teenage son. Oh my god, Desna. Are you ready? I'm an earthbender strapped to the wing of a plane hundreds of feet in the air, so... No? Don't worry. There's no way they'll be expecting this. Oops. Ugh. <laughs> Zombies is too cool. Right, they can do homing missiles with ice. Nice, he used the remote bombs. Nice touch. Get off of him, you sticky, nasty little blob of fool! Whoa! If I go, you're coming with me! Wow. That took guts. Wow. I wish Merrick was filming this! We can call it <laughs> Nuptuck! Sky Warrior! Write it down. Uh oh. Wow. Thanks, Batman. I mean, Asami. Well, this is going well. Don't give up. Harmonic Convergence isn't here yet. And we still got Boomy. Boomy's out there somewhere with his feathers and eggs. You think what Avatar wanted was good? Driving almost all the spirits from this world? The Avatar hasn't brought balance, only chaos. You call yourself the bridge between the two worlds, but there shouldn't be a bridge. We should live together as one. That's interesting, because I remember when I saw that, my reaction to it was that in a way it's like one exiled the spirits. When Harmonic Convergence comes, I will fuse with Vatu. 
and together we will become the new Avatar. A dark Avatar. So I was right about that. I kind of knew that from your comments though. I knew that was going to happen. But it's an interesting idea. The technicalities of the show aside, there is something awesome about having the mirror image of the hero. It does a couple of things. Like one, it's a real threat because theoretically they should be of similar power level, right? So often it takes some extra thing to kind of transcend that. Another part of it too is that sometimes the, the mirror image, the evil version, it's not actually showing a villain necessarily, it's showing the hero too. It's like showing the bad side of the hero. One of the reasons why I think this is enjoyable is because this is something that we experience. Just the act of living is a struggle between different versions of yourself. We experience ourselves as being one solid entity, but the reality is we are the amalgamation of a lot of different and sometimes competing and conflicting forces. I think there are physiological reasons for this, like there are certain parts of our brain that are older than others, right, in terms of evolution and history. I think one of the difficulties of being human is struggling to act despite so many different conflicting forces. It's hard. It's a constant battle. It's no fun. It's so easy for your life to slip into chaos. I think part of the beauty of seeing it on screen is you actually get to enjoy it and you actually get to like root for yourself. Does that make sense? I know this is a little bit out there, but this is just what I'm thinking about right now. I failed in every way. We've lost Jinora forever. There's still a chance. They didn't get Boomy. Have some faith in Boomy. He's out there somewhere. There he is. <laughs> oh, you want to play some more? Well, bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, it's his flute. Play it. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Looks like we've got a music lover here. No one's going to believe him. <laughs> Reinforcements! Good. All right, soldiers. Looks like it's on us to save the day. Boomy's a survivor. Our father is the wisest man in the world. If he says what he is doing is right, I believe him. You don't sound very convinced. <laughs> oh no, is he gonna get in the neck? <laughs> I love it. Get me out of here! Wild card. <laughs> All right, guys, rescue time. Pretty good. See, that'll teach you to doubt. Boomy. How did you manage to take out this entire encampment on your own? You're not gonna believe this. Get it all with my trusty flute and... oh, never, never mind. mind. You wouldn't believe it anyway. Asami, can you take Ugi and my dad back to my mom? Mm -hmm. Why does Asami get left out? Slick. They're holding their own pretty well. Love the tag team. You're running out of time, Rama. Oops. Uh, just a little bit too late. Here it is. So this is gonna free Vatu. What the heck? That was a cool shot. There he is. Still looking awesome. <laughs> that was a 10,000 year laugh right there. No, don't end. Don't end. No! <laughs> Damn it. I want more. That's good. I can just watch the next episode. Alright, that's going to be the end of this one. I'll see you soon for episode 13.